Hey everyone, John here, and welcome back to the Toy Box. It's now officially May, and May is the month of Darkrai and the Pokemon 20th Anniversary Celebration. So, we're going to celebrate here the Toy Box by reviewing the 20th Anniversary Darkrai plush, and the premium Pokeball figure of Darkrai. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the review. Alright, so first we're going to go ahead and go with the plush. Now, before we start the review, let's set the mood by reading... Darkrai's Pokédex entries from the fourth generation. So Darkrai is a pitch black Pokémon. It can lull people to sleep and make them dream. It is active during nights of the new moon. Folklore has it that on moonless nights this Pokémon will make people see horrific nightmares. To protect itself it afflicts those around it with nightmares. However, it means no harm. It chases people and Pokémon from its territory by causing them to experience deep nightmarish slumbers. So that's Darkrai, a pretty scary Pokemon. So, let's start the review by looking at the box. So we have number 491. This is one of the many mythical Pokemon here in the, in the Sinnoh region. And you can see Darkrai through the, through the window. And of course we have this, this window on the side. You can feel it's a crushed velvet um, plush. And this has the Pokemon 20th Anniversary label, a little picture of Darkrai. And of course, this is from Tomy. So on the side, the side view, we have the window. And on the back, just like the others, we have the Pokemon 20th Anniversary message. A trainer's journey never ends. Each generation befriends new Pokemon and battles new dangers. Explore the world of Pokemon. And there is another little Pokedex entry on the back. Darkrai defends its territory by sending intruders into a deep sleep where they are tormented by terrible nightmares. And we have Darkrai right here. And he looks pretty scary, don't you think? And right here on the side panel, we have more of these the same messages, just in different language. And we're back to the front. So, just like all the other ones, we'll go ahead and start the unboxing. For the zipper. And we can remove the plush by taking them out through here. There we go. And remember that this uh, this bag is resealable, so you can go ahead and put them back when you're done. And dark right here, he's held on to this uh, this box with some fasteners. There are two fasteners right down here. And there are additional three fasteners, one right here, one right here, and one right here. I already took that one out, so. So let's go ahead and get dark right out of the box. So you can just take, undo the fastener right here. You don't have to break anything. And again, the last one's right here. So there we go. And Darkrai is free. There we go. So it looks like this Darkrai plush can stand up. So this one stands up on his own, which is always really cool for a plush. So let's go ahead and do, as always, we'll do a 360 of the plush. So here is the, the front. We have Darkrai's collar, which looks like a jaw. And we have the hair. This hair covers his other eye, but it's not really um, moldable so you're not going to see the other eye here so we have his mane and this is a very the whole thing is crushed velvet so it's kind of shimmers a bit we can capture and this is this is captured on the camera so this feels pretty smooth and it's kind of soft and it shimmers in the light so we have the black the ar the black on his arms it looks it looks a lot more like a silver here. Because of the, sh of the shimmer effect of the crushed velvet, it doesn't look as pitch black as you see in the pictures. But this is a, a black velvet plush. So on the side view, you can see Darkrai's arms. Now it looks like when I, when I had him sitting down, it looked like I had the arms um, lopsided. But the reason is because this arm comes over here towards the back. Well, on the other side, this arm comes a little bit more towards the front. So they're going to look a little uneven when you put them on here. But that's all right. It gives the it gives the plush some character, which is always really cool. 
And in the back, of course, we have Dark Rice Tail. And you have Tomy's Pokemon tag right here. So what do I think about this plush? I think the plush is really nice. This is my first Dark Ride plush. I've never had one before. And I think it is really cool. I think it's really great for a collector's item. So I have it here right now, but of course I'm going to be storing it in the in the package once I'm done. But uh, this is a really nice plush and it is a must if you're collecting all of the 20th anniversary plushes. It will go really nice with your collection. So far, I've got Dark... Um, of course, I have Dark Red. He's right here. But I've also got Jirachi, Celebi, Mew, and Pikachu. And if you want to check out, check out those uh, unboxings as well, I'll leave links in the comment section below. Or in the description. But uh, that is... This has been the Dark Ride Plush. All right, now it's time to take a look at the Dark Ride Premier Pokeball figure. So this one is uh, is wrapped up here. It's, the GameStop wrapping is a little different from the Toys R Us wrapping. So here at GameStop we get this one. So let's go ahead and start opening it. We have the the marks on the side, so we can start opening the package. Sometimes people ask me if I about opening up collectibles and because a lot of people don't but I like to the the reason is, is because for some collectibles especially like these like these Pokemon ones I never plan on selling them so the only way I can really enjoy them is if I actually open them up so that's usually what I say when I open these but here we go so let's open up the Premier Ball and we come it comes with the figure and an insert let's take a look at the insert real quick and it looks like it's a message on this side it has the same uh, pokedex entry that we read on the plush which is pretty nice and the same message which is cool I'll be keeping that right here and there's the premiere ball and here's dark ride in the plastic so I'm going to take care of opening with this one. Sometimes these figures can be fragile, so you, you want to be very careful when you, when you take them out of the package. And here is Dark Ride. There is no, there is no stand that comes with this one because this Dark Ride pretty much stands up on its own. And there it is right there. And this is a pretty nice figure. It has the same, um, it ha looks like it has a pearlesque finish, and uh, it look and it has the same shimmer that the the plush has, which is pretty cool. They have the they have all the details pretty nicely done on on this figure, just like on the pictures that you see of Dark Ray. And he looks just like a, a shadow ready to ready to pounce. He's still not completely pitch black, which is a little different from the the image that I get from him in the games, because of how nightmarish Dark Rai is. You can see in the picture, he's totally pitch black, just like a black cloud or a nightmare. But in here, because of the pearlesque finish, he doesn't look as dark, but it's still pretty cool. If we just turn the figure around, you can see. Everything you see, Dark Rice tail and his arms, and there, of course, is the white mane coming over his head, and of course, the red teeth right there. So, this is the Dark Rye. This is the Dark Rye Premier Pokeball figure, and uh, again, these plush, the plush, and this figure. Uh, for this month, they're only available at GameStop. So if you want either one, make sure that you go get them. And this has been the review for the Pokeball figure of Darkrai. Well, this has been the review for the 20th anniversary Darkrai plush and Premier Ball Pokeball figure. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Check out the Toy Box on social media. Twitter and Instagram links are in the description below. 
And make sure to check out my unboxing of the Darkrai Pokemon trading card game, Darkrai Mythical Pokemon Collection. It's coming soon. So be sure to rate, subscribe, and don't stop playing.